Hi, Brian Thrift here with Bass U TV, and I want to show you a cool little bait from Domeki. It's called the Domeki Vault. It's offered in two or three sizes. We've got a quarter ounce, a three eighths ounce, which I have here, and new for this year is a half ounce. This is an awesome little blade bait when fish are schooling on small shad, especially in the fall when they're very hard to catch. You can throw it a long ways. You can fish it just like you can make it imitate those little bitty half to three quarter inch long shad and get a lot of bites on it. It's a seven foot medium heavy stunner and I just fish it with a series of lifts and drop just to make that thing flutter up off the bottom and then let it fall back down. There one smoked it, didn't he? He eat it. He tangled my bait up. Got my hooks tangled up. All right, we're gonna get him this cast. Just a lift, a slow, steady lift and drop. You can imagine it just kind of yo-yoing up and down. It's probably coming up two and a half feet and then falling back down about two and a half feet on the drop. And then what I do is when I pump, pump it up, I reel up my slack when I drop the rod. So I'm taking up my slack, just lift, take up slack, lift, take up the slack, let it fall back down, take up the slack. That's, to me, that's one of the best ways to retrieve this Domeki Balt and it just imitates those little tiny shad just absolutely perfectly. There's probably not another bait out there that imitates those little tiny inch and a half to two inch long shad. When the, you know, when the fishing gets tough and you see them busting around but you can't get them to bite anything, usually this is the answer right here. And you can even do a slow steady wind, just a slow tight wind, it's kind of got the the vibration of a, you know, a rattle trap style bait or something like that. You can do a slow, steady wind with it as well. But there's really no wrong way to fish it. It just imitates those little tiny bait fish. I throw in on eight pound P-Line tactical fluorocarbon because even though this just such a small bait, it's still got a quite a bit of weight to it and it's easy to cast, but just being that small makes it a little aggravating but I still like to throw it on a bait caster. I've got it on a Revo MGX reel. This is a 7.9 to one gear ratio reel. Just fire it out there, lift and drop. Just kind of yo-yo it along. You kind of want it to look like a lazy, lethargic shad, something that's not trying to draw any attention to itself, just kind of struggling to survive. And kind of, I guess it, just a bass's natural predatory instincts take over when they see that kind of dying minnow flutter. They just, they can't resist it. A little bitty guy. That's a little white perch. <laughs> no wonder he's so little. So we, we've got everything down here eating right now. And this right here is a sure sign that there's bait in the area when you see these little jokers around. And if you're throwing a bait, they'll bite. I promise you a bass will bite it as well. Now I always throw it on the eight pound tactical fluorocarbon. It just, it doesn't seem to give you the same fall rate if you bump up to Oh, there's one. Uh, might be a little better one there. If you bump up to 10 or 12 pound line, you don't get the same rate of fall. And it's just, uh, just doesn't work as effectively. Yeah, that's a little better fish there. This is kind of what I was talking about earlier with catching uh, all those little four and five inches. Then we throw it in the same spot and we Get a decent one, you know, fat little pound and a halfer. So there's been many a days in tournaments I would have been a welcome sight to catch a just a good fat keeper. So something to file back in the memory banks and help you get a lot more bites at little vault. I'm having fun, so we're gonna sit here and see how many we can catch. Mike Iaconelli, this is Bash U TV. Here's what's awesome about Bash U TV. You get the top instructors. You will learn things at Bash U that you will learn nowhere else. We take the mystery and the myths 
out of bass fishing. Real tools that help you catch more fish consistently. At Bass U TV, shoes are optional. And I like turtles. And that's why you want to check out Bass U TV. Join the Bass U family. Welcome to Bass U TV.